a perma, a perma, a perma links. Welcome back to the videospot.net, my dear friends. Today we're talking about permalinks. And even though this is like a real basic, basic topic, it's very important to how your website is structured and how you're being found on the internet. So I'm stoked to be covering this very, very simple, very, very sweet topic that relates directly to your WordPress website. So let's first go to an official definition of what a permalink is. WordPress says that a permalink is a permanent static hyperlink to a particular web page or entry in a blog. Now a permalink is really similar to a URL in that it's an address and it, it tells the searcher, it tells the, the website where you want to go. The problem with setting this up is that when you create a page or a post in WordPress, WordPress automatically sets up a permalink for that, for that page. But when you're using the categories or the tags and there's some other features in WordPress, you get a whole bunch of other URLs to that page as well. So you might have one page in your website and you might have five different ways that you can get to that web page, which is a really good thing for the user. It's a really bad thing for SEO. So WordPress gives you the option on how you want to set up your permalinks and you also maybe want to set up a canonical URL, which we talked about in another video. And if you want to check that out, you can click on the annotation on your screen now and go check out some of our other videos on, on this topic. But I'm going to go right now to my desktop. I'm going to show you how to set up a permalink structure built into WordPress or create your own. It's a real simple process, but it's something that you don't want to do too often because it can kind of mess your stuff up. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to my computer and check it out now. So here I am back in the WordPress dashboard and we're going to go to the permalink section to mess with that. So what we need to do is go down to the settings, click on permalinks. And here you're going to have a variety of options. See, I've got my default options here, but if I scroll down, I've got some options for my products as well. And this is because I have a plugin that enables me to sell products on my website. So that's something that, that you should know. Now it's going to give me a bunch of options like default, day and name, month and name, and it will give you examples of what those might look like as it relates to, you know, your posts. You can also use the custom structure, which typically is what I'm using. What's important to know about the permalinks is that you can go back and forth. You can, you know, you can use the custom structure and then go back to the post name or use the default for a little while or, you know, kind of play around with that. Here's what you need to know though. If you're using this structure, for example, and then you go and post these links out on the web or get backlinks, and then you change your website to a new custom structure, all of these links up here that you just posted out, when somebody clicks on them, they are going to go to a 404 error page unless you've done a 301 redirect or done some coding in your HT access file. We're not going to cover that today. Just know that if you change around your permalink structure, you run the risk of having 404 errors on your page. So I would say, think about this before you set up your website. How do you want your post to display? Do you really, you know, like, do you really need your the date and time? Do you really need to date your content or is that maybe harmful to you? Think about those things before you move forward with it. Once you move forward, stick with it and build just a fantastic website. So again, check out our video on canonical URLs to learn how the canonicals and permalinks work together. I hope I answered all of your questions here today in as simple a manner as possible. You can also view this video in a full blog post on our website. I put the link in the description box below. If it's your first time here, I want to urge you to subscribe because every time I get a subscriber, my wife kisses me. And that, my friends, is what it's all about, is it not? Can I get an amen? Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you'll join us next week. We've got two more videos coming next week. Every single week, we, prob we publish on Tuesdays and Thursdays, always content related to internet marketing. So check it out. We'll see you next time at thevideospot.net.